All right. Now we are going to talk about bulk apex triggers. Basically, we want to get into a mindset of doing everything in bulk. What does bulk means? Bulk means a lot, right? A ton of data. So I used this illustration on the previous video um, about Apex Basic. Like for example, you are wanting to buy 100 apples, right? Doing it non-bulk means you grab 100 loose apple fruits on a supermarket. You put all 100 apples into a shopping cart and then you pay um, one apple at a time at the cashier. So let me give you an illustration again, okay? So if I go to images, and I'm gonna say um, a box of apple here. So for example, you go to a supermarket, right? Or a farmer's uh, market. You wanna buy this much of apple, okay? So instead of going to the cashier with the whole crate, and pay for the whole thing and they would wait how many kilograms you got and then you pay it by the kilogram. You actually go to the cashier and pay one apple at a time. So you pay one apple and then you put your money out. This is 50 cents or maybe five cents. This is the second apple, five cents and then the cash register punches. The amount needs to be paid and the paper comes out, your receipt, this is your receipt. That's a transaction, right? So that is a waste of time. Each transaction requires time, right? So if you do a transaction in bulk means you get the whole crate. So you put all the apples that you want to buy or do a transaction, put it on a crate, which is a list or an array. So a box or a bag considers that as a list or an array in Apex, okay? So you put it all into the crate or a box and then you go to the cashier and weigh it 25 kilograms. So how many, how much is that? Okay, so $75, so you have to pay the whole thing one time, one transaction. That's a bulk transaction. Instead of paying for the apple one and one and one, and then you just have to do the whole same amount of apple for, I don't know, how many is this? 300 apples for half an hour to do the transaction. While if you do it in bulk, it takes 30 seconds, right? That's the whole mindset about doing things in bulk, okay? So it doesn't just include triggers, any Apex class you create later on or anything you are creating with your code, have a bulk mindset. Consider your code will go through a million record. Will it be able to handle it? Not just one. So when you're coding, don't have a mindset of, oh, I'm just gonna process one contact. What if there is a API dump or a transaction that processes 50,000 records at one point? Will your code still work or it's, it will break because it's, um, it's, it's going over the governor limit of what Salesforce allows you? 60 seconds CPU, usually 100 SOCL transactions or DML transactions. So. Salesforce limits that so to force us developers to do efficient coding. Efficient, lean and clean coding that is free of waste, waste of CPU resources and free of waste of time, okay? So basically that is this is a mindset on how you code things. So bug 
trigger trigger design patterns, you have a mindset of doing a transaction in a bulk at one transaction. All right. So, for example, this is a way of not doing it in a bulk. Right. So this is just doing one account A, which is from the trigger new. This is just a really bad example and just update the description to new description this is a bulkify trigger so it's but it's still in the loop here which is not very good okay trigger my bulk trigger trigger on account before insert so on each account record which is represented by the trigger new you change the description to new description so all the records that's 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 inserted all account records that's inserted will have a description of new description okay so what about bulk circle the same thing this is as um circle trigger not bulk on the account object run this after an update happens so whenever you update a record an account record this trigger this trigger <laughs> will run okay so this is not a bug trigger why because it's looping inside inside this this loop here for loop right so if you have 1000 records or 1000 accounts created from a data import process this will loop 1000 times 200 at a time right one two three four and then it's like buying that apple you know one at a time instead of doing the whole crate so what we need to do instead of doing it every single time inside a loop you put it um in, into the bag or into the box which is a list so this is how you actually want to do it this is circle trigger bug on the account object after update as well so put the whole thing in a box or a list okay that's just my terminology i'm saying box so pretend this box or this crate is the list okay so first you do a query select whatever you want to select here from account where the id is in trigger new this is key where the id is in trigger new so if uh, a thousand records a thousand accounts is processed into this trigger so where id in like there's a thousand ids here you know this will become a thousand account ids so select all accounts where the id is in this in this uh, trigger so you put all of those accounts into this box of accounts or a list a list of accounts put the whole the whole thing in here right so you only do one circle query this is one circle query okay so then after you you do that you can just iterate on a for loop for account a which is from this list account with um ops and then you do your your processing your whatever you want to code here okay so that's how you you bulkify things so next example circle trigger bug on account after update so this is just another way of doing it same thing one circle query and then you just do that instead of um, this is if you want to iterate over the opportunities this is when you want to iterate over the accounts so same thing just different example okay trigger circle trigger bulk on account after update or you can do this the circle query within the for loop as well what is the whole point of this you only do one circle transaction one so the circle is not inside this loop where here is not bug the circle is inside the loop right right this is inside the loop this is outside the loop 
you do one circle, then you get the whole data, then you decide what you want to do with the data over here. Same thing here, same thing here, okay? That's basically box circle in a nutshell. Well, basically that's about it. And then you can just do your own logic, your own playing around with your own code, okay? So box DML is the same thing. The point is you want to do one box DML. So this is the bad example. This is not bug. So it's doing the update DML inside a loop. So you don't want that. This is a loop, right? For loop. And then you say, oh, I'm going to update it. What if there's like 50 million records? It's going to loop. It's just going to be broken. <laughs> All right. So now how do you, how do you do it? So you, you bulkify it. Uh, this is the example DML trigger bug on the account object run this after an update so after the account record is updated this needs to run right so first you do a list this is if you want to get the related opportunities all right list of opportunity do um, one circle select what fields you want from the opportunity where account ID in the trigger, in the whatever records is being processed there. So you got a bunch of opportunities, right? And then you make a new list, list opportunity, opportunities to update, okay? New list, this is the second box. The first box, you just put, you just put um, all the accounts, okay, this, Joshua asking me. <laughs> okay, let me pause one second. So then, the second list is the opportunities to update. Okay, you just create the list first. Prepare the box, okay? And then you loop through it for through the first list here which is the related opportunities so all opportunities that belong to the accounts that is being updated okay so so for opportunity op this is the variable name this is the as object type and then you name it uh it is from what from related ops which is this then you loop okay if blah, 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 and blah, 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 and then you change the description, and then what? You add to the box. You put this to the box, ops, ops to update dot add. This is a function, a method. Ops to update dot add a list method. Add what? Add the apple here, this app, this op here, which is this one, okay? So this op is being put into this op to update box or list i keep saying box so you understand this is the box or the list okay of apple so put all the opportunities in this box opportunities to update so it's one apple one opportunity two opportunity three opportunity four five six and so on so once you you fill the bag do a transaction one transaction only update Instead of update one opportunity, update the whole box or, or, or do the whole box ops to update. So this is outside the loop. On the loop, you basically keep adding it into the box, onto the list, the list here. This list, a new list. Keep putting it into the list so there is no DML here. There is no transaction. You're not buying or paying anything here. There is nothing, it's just in memory. Everything is in memory, 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 looping, 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 and then boom, you update it and save it onto the database. So one transaction. So that's all about bug, okay? Bug design pattern in action. Trigger example for getting related records. So this is uh, basically another example or how you can do a soccer. Select the fields from the account object where the ID of the account in trigger new and ID not in 
select account ID from opportunity. So you can do a whole bunch of variations of advanced circle to basically get what you want to get, what kind of apple you want to get. You know, Fuji, what else there is? I forgot. Um, Gala apple, Fuji apple, <laughs> okay? So basically you, you decide what you want to get and then process the data further. What about this? Add related record on account, do it after insert, after update. And then you, you make a new, new list or a box, new list of opportunity, name it op list. And then you loop it for account of this circle, right? And then you add, you add, which is a new opportunity. It's fancy smanshi. Whoever is creating this code, just wanna show you how fancy the codes are and how creative you can be, all right? So basically, it's just another variation of example, okay? And then basically, you just have to do, put it in, into a list, right? And then finally, outside the loop, outside the loop, this is the loop, outside it, do a DML, insert, boom, one, transaction okay all right so what else um let's see here we have hands-on challenge so let's do the hands-on challenge on a separate video okay bada bing bada boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video, and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.